Hi, I'm Jack Atherton. This is Reality by Example, a tool for supporting amateur creativity through the use of interactive machine learning. So, Reality by Example is a tool and meta environment in virtual reality where people can construct a world by placing small examples of how they would like the world to look and act. Here the user is changing an example that the type of land here should be more bouldery. Then they place a new example that the color of the land over here should be more green. The tool interpolates between all their examples to show them something that it thinks approximates what they want, and they iterate by placing more examples. You can also leave temporal examples, like teaching a bird to fly by flapping your arms. After I've recorded one example for this bird, then it starts to move through the world using that data as a way of understanding how it should act. For many of us, our voice is our most expressive communication tool. Our voice encodes who we are, where we are, and how we're doing. These contextual factors, some momentary and some long-held, influence the way we sound. My PhD work aims to define how this context space manifests within the voice. I incorporate psychoacoustics, sociomusicology, linguistics, and signal processing into my research. My research includes identifying pronunciation bias, learning context without labeled data, reconstructing how the voice radiates into acoustic spaces, and parameterizing the space between speech and musical sound. In concert, these projects aim to model a contextual paradigm that spans the diversity of vocalizations. Through designing AI to leverage how an artist or a communicator embeds their context into their personal sound, we can create voice-based technologies that lean into a user's individuality. Hello, my name is Miguel Novello. I'm a new media artist, a filmmaker, and I'm an MFA student at Stanford. My recent work has investigated an evolution and decay in language, simulations of identity, and media translations. Understanding our mediated selves is how I think I can achieve an open and free communication needed for my work. Bodyless Migration 20 in Hyperspace Time is a video piece composed of three panels and meant to be experienced on the internet. It's a direct response to my engagement in our current reality, and for that I made an avatar that allows me to engage in a modular free form world. In this piece, I'm using computer animation software, machine learning animations, undersea footage, zoom screen capture, drawings, and chroma key compositions. The use of AI comes within the creation of an image of my body without its physical properties. For that, I combine a series of data sets, such as my body motion, my weight, scale, and memories of my interaction with technology, such as images of my internet consumption, my data usage, my browsing history, and the time I spent on screens. I compose a new blue world full of simulation in order to come back, perhaps with a newer physical and conceptual body, to envision myself in new forms of empathies, to reimagine borderless stories, and ultimately feel as free as I feel in the digital space, but in the physical world. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, I'm Panos, and this is the presentation for Artemis, Affective Language for Art. In Artemis, we introduce a data set that contains affective responses of thousands of humans with respect to how they feel when they observe a famous work of art, and crucially, a written explanation regarding why. The collected explanations are very rich in abstract, metaphorical, and imaginative content. Furthermore, with Artemis, we embrace open-ended explanations and the subjectivity that comes along with different individuals. Tapping on our rich data set to design neural speakers that, similar to humans, can create explanations to support different emotions. Such as these examples on unseen paintings that explain positive and negative emotions. Interestingly, our neural speakers can get the likely emotion for a painting or be asked to express different emotions for the same painting. For more details, including the data and code, please visit our webpage.